Hello everyone, and again, welcome to Behind the Mind. As ever, my name is Chris Lees. My name is Chris Phelan. We're going to do something a little bit different tonight. Um, a little break from top five. We were going through our phones about a year ago, about June 2017, we took a trip to the local crematorium. Dead excited, armed with a camera, took tons of photographs. Got some pretty decent stuff, actually, um, didn't we? Yeah, we didn't really set out to capture much we just sort of went with our phones we only just started out we didn't have anything like the camera we're filming on now we just literally had our phones uh took a few short videos with it um hundreds and hundreds of pictures as you can see on your screens now i'll just show you a couple nothing really came to light did it and we sort of put it to bed yeah not initially it wasn't until afterwards when we had a look at the photographs that we actually thought to ourselves you know what we've we've, we've got something here yeah and that's what we're going to share with you today so Join us today for our two-parter on Carlton Crematorium. So Carlton Creme is located, for those of you abroad or who don't live in England, it's located in the northwest, Pontley Fylde in Lancashire. And we took a trip up there last June yeah, or June, July. June 2017. About. We went a couple of times. Yeah, went a couple of times, caught some stuff. Now this first picture, which I'm going to put on your screen now, not much to look at at first, but coming across this picture, we zoomed in on it. And if you look to the, the left side of it, as we zoom in here, to us, that looks like a group of people. And if you look closely here, we'll circle this bit. That looks like a girl with a ponytail staring straight back at us. Yeah, definitely. And I think as well, if you look a little bit more closely in some of the other photographs we're going to put on it, it looks like there's more than just one person. It looks like, a, well, I'd even go so far as to say a family. Yeah. There's a bloke, isn't there? Quite, quite, quite obviously a bloke, there's the girl. And then a, a, a couple of other, well, what we would say looks like figures. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's pretty impressive, it's got to be said. And bear in mind this was taken at around sunset, sort of late evening, it was summertime here over in England. And we we took into account there may be a lot of lens flare. Yeah, there was, there was, there was bright sunshine, but if, if you look at the photograph, it's pretty apparent that you can actually see on the gravestones where the sun's shining from. Yeah. And I think on the photographs that we got, you can, you can, you can differentiate between what's lens flare, what's sunshine and what isn't. I think that's something that's got to be said, actually. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, I'll just debunk everything yeah. as lens flare. Yeah, <laughs> and it, it, clearly, it clearly wasn't. It clearly wasn't, because we've looked at it over and over again, haven't we? And it's, there's no way that, it, that, that what we were looking at was caused by the sun. No, but that's a girl, though. I mean, I mean, look at it. Yeah. You can see her hair there, you can see her eyes, her mouth. You can, she even looks like she's wearing some sort of stripy jumper. Yeah, definitely. With we her picked hand. up on that straight away, didn't we? Yeah, yeah with a hand behind her back. She's smiling at the camera. She's got her head slightly tilted down. She's got a straight cut fringe. You can even see some hair coming over her left shoulder. That's what we get from it. You can see the features. You can, it's, yeah. it's not a case of, oh, it looks like. If you, if you look at it and you concentrate, you can see the eyes, the nose, the mouth. And like Chris said, you can see the hair. You can even see the hair coming over the shoulder. It's, uh, yeah, it's a pretty impressive photograph. I mean, you saw, it, it looks like a, like a hooded figure who's got his arm like this over the gravestone, just on the right to the picture, take another look. Definitely, definitely worth looking at that, 100%. So, this next one we're going to show you is actually a sequence of three photos. Um, the quality isn't amazing, which I'm really sorry about, but these photos have been zoomed in on quite a bit, just to reveal what we think we've seen on them. Mm. Uh, and the reason I've chosen these three is because in each of the three photos roughly taken from the same angle. On the Samsung phones you can hold the camera button in and it will take a sequence of photos like in quick succession. So you can take up to like 50 photos in about four seconds. Yeah. Um, and just in these three photos alone uh, something changes above the gravestone. Take a look. I think it's, it's worth mentioning as well if you look at these photographs you've got a gravestone at the front and you've got a gravestone at the rear. What, we've, what we're looking at is actually in between the two gravestones where there isn't another row of gravestones and on one of the photographs what we're looking at is actually higher than the gravestone at the front and the gravestone at the back so again you know it definitely caught our attention because it looked like something that, that there that, that actually shouldn't have been there well you can see a, you can actually see a physical change the gravestones don't move you can see a physical change above this gravestone in one of them it actually looks like somebody with an open mouth and an arm 
yeah. and, a, and a hand and it changes like Chris said it changes in each photograph so it, as each photograph is taken the, 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 the image is, is, is different in each, in each time you look at it so the final photograph that we're going to show you is an example of, of how we like to be open and honest and, and try and debunk what we find. We don't want people thinking every photograph that we take has got a ghost in it or it's got a sighting in it. Basically when we got there I did a photograph of the entire crematorium and in front of me was a tree. Now when we got home and we looked at the photograph we got quite excited and we thought my god there's definitely a picture in that it's a face it's almost you described it as a like a, like a hag with a, a, a witch's nose like a pointed sort of. nose and like even a hat so we actually got pretty excited but when we actually took time to look at the photograph it became obvious that it was actually a leaf it was one of those one in a million photographs basically the the, the tree was in the distance but we managed to film a leaf pretty close and that leaf actually looked like it was the face of a ghost so we want to be quite open and honest with our photographs and with our videos that we will happily debunk, debunk things that we see and not everything has to be you know, a ghost or a mm -hmm. sign. That's, that's, that's what we said that we wanted to do from the get-go, isn't it, really? Yeah, Chris, pretty, to be much, pretty much. But a cracking shot, though, like you said, one, oh, yeah. one in a million. Yeah. You could have taken a million pictures from a million different angles, and I don't think you could have got that again Never, never tried. ever get that in a month of Sundays, to yeah. be honest. And have a look at it, and you'll, you'll see the face the minute that you lay eyes on it. But we just want to be open and honest and say, look, the picture's in there to prove that, yeah, at first sight, it does look like a ghost, but, you know... You can see the branch coming down. You, you can, can see the two leaves hanging off the tree. You and can. So looking at these photographs actually caused me and Chris quite a lot of excitement to be honest. When you know a year ago we'd only just set off, we'd only just started. We had an idea of what we wanted to do, what we wanted to film. So looking at these photographs again over the last couple of days has inspired us to go back, hasn't it? It's like so finding what, buried treasure. Yeah, exactly. So what are we gonna do? Well, next week we're gonna we had now have better equipment. We've been doing this a while now, we've a bit more experienced yeah, in this field. Definitely. So we're gonna gear up next week and we're gonna revisit Carlton Crematorium to see if we can capture anything else. So tune in next week for part two. Thanks for watching. Take care.